uh, uh, it, it was, I think, uh, Bob and Dante Robin, uh, Thelma and Howard could all tell you that it's uh, uh, a discovery with each shot, with each, each sense of designing the picture, every, every uh, facet of it was really a, re, a, re, uh, a rethinking about how to make pictures in a way with this, uh, with, um, of course, the obvious, the element of 3D, but, but uh, also recreation of a kind of um, a boy's memory of where he was in the past, in a sense, and how to create the um, uh, uh, kind of a sense of uh, a heightened um, impression of Paris in 1929, 1930. And so all of this built together on uh, many different facets, as you, as you, as you know. But it was, it was um, arduous, but, but uh, most of the time, a great deal of fun. We have so much to talk about, but just, just really briefly, to just go to the, the, the core of, it's based on a book, and... <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> My legs don't reach them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Now I'm lost. Okay. Right. Talk, talk, talk about the, the main thing that, that propels you to say, I'm going to make this movie and I have to make this movie. And, and this is the source material that I'm starting with that, that, that drives it forward. And, and how you're going to spend a year of your life dedicating to this. Uh, well, as, as quickly as possible, I'll, I'll tell you that um, simultaneously, when I received the material, it was through uh, Graham, Graham King, my wife Helen read it. She loved it and gave it to me, I read it. Um, beautiful book by Brian Selznick. Uh, the, uh, of course, the, um, the graphic, uh, the graphic uh, novel, in a sense, too, the look of it. Um, but really around the same time, you know, I have a young daughter, and um, it should be 12 in a, a couple of weeks. And so I guess it sort of was two trains running in a way. It was the time because um, being uh, with her most of the time, every day, um, I just began to see things differently and uh, perceive, um, <laughs> perceive life or the, or the world around one uh, in, a, in, in a child's view. Uh, and as it changes and uh, the imagination of a child, the, uh, the uh, creativity of a child but also the child's uh, thoughts and uh, 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 storytelling. And so it just seemed to be very, um, a very uh, happy coincidence that this story, and also the fact that the story resolves itself through the device of motion pictures. It seemed to be something very, and Graham was saying, Marty, this is you, you have to do it, and Rick Yarn and my wife and everybody, and then finally it, it all came together. Who is the first stop in, in, in all of your collaborators here who you've worked with? Who is the first stop? Do you go to Dante initially to say, how are we going to do this? Or well, I think we did, it? didn't we? Yes, I think we went to Dante. Yes. This fun, yes, the first time. Um, what I have to answer. <laughs> you, no, it was, we did twice. Remember, first we went to you, and then the film was canceled. Yeah, oh, no, back. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first time we... We met in Cannes. Yeah, that's yes, right. Uh, to speak about the movie, and then you said, "Why are you here?" I yeah. said, that "Just because we have to talk about the movie." And you said, "Ah, oh, I don't know if I'm going to do this movie." Right. And then the second time was yeah. the right time. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I think it was Dante. It was Dante's um, understanding of um, the way I wanted that world to look, and I think we basically went back to. I, I, I had the idea of. Um, uh, as I say, the boy's imagination, the boy's memory of Paris, 1931. So it doesn't have to be accurate, and it certainly has to, it should be heightened, but it shouldn't be fantasy. And so I was thinking of the films of um, the surrealist films in the 20s that they made there, Paris Qui Dor and so many others, and then uh, René Clair's Le Million, but particularly uh, uh, Under the Roofs of Paris, and uh, Sous les Toits de Paris, and uh, uh, Anou La Liberté, and then the beautiful Jean Vigo films, uh, Zero de Conduite, and uh, L'Atlante, and, and that, that whole school of filmmaking at the time was what we really, 
really embraced. And, I, and, and apparently Selznick too in the book, those were yeah. references, in, including 400 Blows was a reference too. Yes, 